Woody Womack here with Chad Simmons. Uh, I flew all the way to L.A. so I could interview Chad in Atlanta. <laughs> could have just <laughs> well, I could have just drove down the street, Chad. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you got me laughing now, Chad. So, all right. So we got a lot of guys in your region uh, that are still sort of up for grabs. First of all, McKinley Jackson. A guy that we had as a five-star at one time, he's not now, but he's still uh, in high demand. Tell us uh, what's going on with him and how you see it shaking out. Yeah, Jackson, the one-time LSU commit, there seems to be, you know, probably that's the biggest storyline in the South in my area for sure. Number one player in Mississippi, you know, rivals 100 talent. You know, Alabama's been, you know, thought to be at least perceived the leader for maybe a few months uh, especially with Matt Luke being axed at Ole Miss. You know, A&M's been involved. LSU, of course, hasn't gone away. And Auburn's still going to have a hat on that table as well uh, on Wednesday morning. Uh, the buzz has been around, though, Alabama, Texas A&M. A&M got the last official visit. Bama got the first one back early in the season. It looks like it's going to come down to one of those two schools. I mean, my gut said for a while Alabama, but there's been probably more buzz around the Aggies and Jimbo Fisher the last 24 to 36 hours. Is that kind of a smoke screen for Alabama? Uh, I, I still lean more towards Alabama right now, but it comes down to looks like Alabama and Texas A&M. So he told you, I saw the story you had today saying he's known where he's going for a year. Yeah, that's what he said. And he, he was, I asked him like two or three times. I mean, you know, a, a year. And that to me, that says more if he's being truthful, Alabama. A&M has not been involved seriously quite that long. So uh, if he was being truthful about that, talking about maybe spring, early spring last year, uh, definitely trends more towards Alabama. Are a couple of guys are committed. Uh, we've been following for a while. They've been taking some visits. At least, uh, Javon Baker, Jamil Burroughs, both were, have been committed to Alabama for a while, but didn't sign. What are we expecting them to do? Yeah, you know, both still have work to do in the classroom. I think Bama wanted to send that message in December uh, look, get it right, you know, get qualified. And I do expect both of those guys to sign with Alabama. Arkansas and Georgia Tech have been involved with Javon Baker. Burroughs is pretty much a set tight, uh, all Alabama. I think Bama ends up signing both of those young men on Wednesday. All right. And Jameer Gibbs, a guy that's been committed to Georgia Tech forever, stock just soared over the last uh, five or six months. We've seen him take visits. Do we think he sticks with Georgia Tech or is it a flip in order? Yeah, I've always said he's a hometown body. I mean, he loves to be around his family, loves to stay close to home. Obviously, Dalton, hour plus from Atlanta, uh, easy access for his family to see him play, to hang out. Uh, you know, numerous schools made runs at him. Florida is the one still being considered right here before signing day. I do expect him to stay home and stick with Georgia Tech and become, I think, one of probably Jeff Collins' biggest signee to date. Yeah, how big of a win is that going to be for him if they can keep it? Because, I mean, we saw Ohio State in the mix, Florida, like you mentioned, and a whole lot of other schools. Yeah, Alabama as well. LSU was involved. I mean, a lot of schools. Texas came in and offered uh, late in 2019. So um, it's huge. I mean, Tech made him feel like a priority early. They got a jump ahead of other schools. And, Obviously, had a monster senior season, was impressive in San Antonio. Uh, so Tech, to kind of put that work in and, and really close the deal, says a lot about uh, Collins and that staff. And last but not least, Broderick Jones. Uh, we saw him take a few visits. We thought he was going to go to Auburn this past weekend. He doesn't end up doing it. And, and it seems like the writing on the walls, he's going to shut it down and, and sign with the dogs tomorrow. Yeah, I'd be surprised if he doesn't, Woody. Obviously, him not going to Auburn over the weekend, I think – really kind of made that statement for him. Of course, he went to Arkansas with Sam Pittman, the guy he committed to when he was the O-line coach at Georgia. He tripped to Illinois. Uh, neither of those schools ever really had a chance. There was a lot of buzz around Auburn late in December, early in January. Once Matt Luke got on the ground at Georgia and, and built a quick relationship with Broderick Jones, they pretty much shut the door on Auburn. It was a big need for both schools, Auburn and Georgia. It looks like Georgia will keep the top uh, offensive tackle at home in Broderick Jones. All right, Chad, appreciate it. Uh, you can follow Chad on Twitter at Chad Simmons underscore and uh, keep it locked to Rivals.com for more signing day coverage.